A Mid Wales Bowls Club is calling for help to secure its future. Radnorshire Indoor Bowls Association, based in Slandindrod, Wales, was facing closure due to local budget cuts. So two years ago it became a charity and now it says it needs more local support to ensure it survives. Our correspondent Hannah Thomas has more. Meet Mick Thorne. He's not bad at bowls. In fact, he's on the Welsh team. And his career all began here in Llandrin Dodd Wells. It would be a big loss if we were to lose the club. I live on my own now in, in the town, so it, it's great for me here, not only being able to come and sort of practice the bowls a lot, but for the social thing as well. There's a wide range of sort of disabled people that I've seen playing this game, not only sort of wheelchair users, you've got the visually impaired. I've seen people play without any arms, so they have to bowl with their feet, and some of they are amazing. It's a popular place for people from across Radnorshire, and there's plenty of passion for the sport. There's also plenty of talent. Some of the club's disabled bowlers might even be selected to represent Wales on the Gold Coast next spring. We are waiting to hear whether we've been invited to take part in the Commonwealth Games. Uh, with the parabolas and the visually impaired. We've got our fingers crossed that we've done enough. We will find out later in the year whether we've been successful or not, but we, we're all excited that we, we may be. The problem is they need more backing, especially from the younger generation of the town. It's the heart of Wales and it's the heart of the community. We're in the same situation of lots of clubs. We would all love more members, and I think we would all like to have younger members because they are the future of the club. And we have a core of young members who are doing very well on the international arena. The club's trying to find new ways of creating a sustainable future. So that the bowling green here will always be incredibly busy. Hannah Thomas, ITV News, in Llandrin Dodd Wells.